Um, career opportunities in tech and ops are a plenty and wide ranging. Um, for instance, on the op, uh, the technology side, one can choose to do the to to excel in managerial position and head one of the IT departments, or uh, one can choose to excel in project management and eventually become a project director, or be a specialist in a particular technical domain such as network specialist. And of course, in the operations side, there are so, so many domains area uh, that, that one can choose to, for instance, cards operations, treasury operations, investment operations, trade operations. So there's just so many areas that one can choose to learn and, and progress on. Professor, I, I, uh, it's a teaser when you ask me such things, right? <laughs> because I, fir I firmly believe that uh, the focus should not be what roles women can take on. Mm -hmm. uh, the focus should be on what roles are available. Uh, and they, if you believe in inclusiveness of the, the female, mm -hmm. uh, you know, gender, then all roles are available for them. So there's no hard, fast rule that this is the role that the woman should take on. I mean, I broke, personally, I broke the barriers when I, when I did what I did at my times. And I would encourage everyone, forget about the gender. If you like something, go for it, yeah? Mm -hmm. And just, um, sorry, slightly deviation from the topic. I mean, since you talked about, uh, you know, the ratio of women in, you know, in, in this industry. Um, I, I sit, I represent uh, the technology and operations within the, the diversity groups uh, within Deutsche Bank. And uh, interestingly, on Friday, we had, along with uh, um, Shell, they, we had commissioned for a study. And that study is available in, on the website. You can go in and look at it. And uh, I was, again, doing a panel there. And it was absolutely pitiable to see the ratio of women uh, in, in the workforce. We are not talking about financial and technology, we are talking about workforce. And uh, interestingly, across the APAC uh, region, the country that has most women representation is Malaysia. And uh, the one with the, with the worst, uh, to Jaya, your point, is India. Yeah, we're talking about full workforce, and this is not something that I dig up here. Yeah? It's available on the website. Go have a look at it. And these are all the 21 MNCs which have been, you know, interviewed on that. And uh, when, when you start to look at the, the actual problem where it comes from, it comes from schools. You know, how many go down into the schools, how many come to institutes like this, and how many of them survive after this to get into the workforce. But if my only advice is if you do survive and if you do get out to the, to the workforce, don't be, you know, caged for anything. Just go ahead and do what you want to do.